Good morning. Our buddy's here. So it's like in Florida. You know, the, I got to come out to California, I think. You should. You know? It's not like wet and... Yeah, and like and snowy shit. and shitty. Yeah, you know. So if you saw the video, the last on Hertz car... I saw, it. I saw it. He saw it. I saw it. He commented, <laughs> and we're going to clear some stuff up, and we're going to show him in person. We've got his engine all torn down. We found a couple little more things, a couple good things. One bad thing, but not bad. And uh, let's get into it. So here's your disgusting subframe. Oh, thank you. You don't have to talk to me that way. Right? You know, like, I get it. <laughs> they're all they're all like this. Uh, and then you add a Nismo clutch disc, probably just a Nismo uh, like clutch, just like a, a. I mean, it seemed like this guy was kind of bougie, right? He's got the knee pads. Oh yeah. Skirts, you know? He he optioned it well for sure. So man, you do it. Good. Um. So whatever. This is all fine. And then uh, we'll show you in person, Josh. You want to pull this engine out so we can go down with the yeah, car. For sure. The, the the issues, I kind of want to, I'll go over some stuff off camera too, but uh, you saw it in the video, yeah, you can see it in real yeah, life. Yeah. But then Josh found some funny stuff with your oil pump, okay. which is like alarming. You want to show him that, Josh? So, there's your oil pump, and go ahead, Josh, what's up? When I popped it out, I noticed that these were backed out. They were like loose. And they were supposed to be like impacted like those brake screws. Right. So... Kind of on borrowed time. That's How it's sealed, I don't know. Maybe it's the gunk, but that's kind of weird. That is weird, and it, there doesn't seem to be like. I, and your oil pressure was fine on the gauge. It, it was pretty fine, but I did notice it was slightly going the other direction. It was just slightly. When you give a gas, just no, just ever so slightly, like it's resting oil pressure, which just slowly just move. It was okay. kind of bugging me out, and I was, but I was like, I know this is going to Tommy's yeah. room, so I'm not gonna sweat it. These guys are gonna so then stop it out last, but yeah, that's uh, it. Definitely yeah. has an oil pump gear. Josh took it. He just put it back how he found it, just to show you. Oh, um, it has an oil pump gear in it, which means somebody modified it and put like what we did, okay. what we do. So we okay. do these. There's one in there. We don't know what it is. Um, he, I mean, you don't think it's stock at all? No, this is a brand new N1. This is one of the ones I replace. You can see like how thin this is here. Mm -hmm. The other one's super thick and it has like a point and there's way more material in between. So it's, it's not normal. It's not something I normally see. Yeah. It could be like a Remax or some other Japanese brand, but that would explain why these weren't tight. Cause a lot of people don't do that. Right. 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 But it's the only thing that scares me is it's weird to do a pump and nothing else on a car. Mm -hmm. And if you ever had... If a pump went bad or something, I'm always scared that someone threw some bearings in and threw a pump in it. Right. The other weird thing, but I everything seems fine on the engine, like hardware-wise, is there were pink paint marks on a lot of the engine bolts, hmm. which you only see from one place. And That's Nismo. Weird, which is Nismo. Yeah, but I don't know what Nismo that does means. the pink. Hmm. But you oh, would have an yeah, right, <laughs> and then and smoked in his car on his way to work. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Besides the obvious, like. We'll stress it again. We're not touching anything from the yeah. engine bay back. Yeah. Hurt's going to run it, and you're going to... Look, I, I, I knew what... Like, I saw the, the VX report. I knew what I was getting. We talked about it when I was importing this car. We knew it wasn't going to be a perfect car. It looked clean. You could tell it was repainted. I knew what I was getting. I wanted something. Because, like, dude, you can't find these cars for no. 50 grand no. that are really clean and that's what you work with right your base is fifty thousand right. dollars cars and up yeah well that's what we like to work yeah, with yeah obviously yeah. it makes your life a lot easier yeah. you don't gotta you know a lot deal with a lot of bullcrap but hey i'm a scumbag right? <laughs> well I, I i explained to him the best car everyone knows is jack's car dusty and it's called dusty because it's dusty <laughs> and he take he shred it makes 650 horsepower he shreds it down dirt roads and yeah. like i told you yeah. i'm a little jealous like i think i need a beater gtr Dude, i I've, I've never been in the like i can never control myself right you know with something nice so like my fd i bought for seven grand because i want to smash it <laughs> you know like so i'm happy that this car isn't uh something pristine yeah you right so yeah i just want to have fun with it that's all that matters right Josh took the time belt off, and he doesn't usually uninstall them this way, but he ripped it in half with his bare hands. Just flexed it. I mean... <laughs> nah, you can't fool me. He's just really strong. <laughs> that, thing, that thing was gonna... A, a beard of this power? Is this... Not, you're, you're trying to convince me that... that... <laughs> this is what I was worried about when you said you were going to drive it from Texas here. I was like, yo, all it takes... I dodged a huge bullet. You, you dodged a huge <laughs> bullet. Get in here when you did... You know what? Honestly, luckily, it broke however it broke when it did. Yeah. Because had you kept driving it, who knows what... what like, if that let go, yeah. you'd be looking at a $10,000 bill, yeah. you know? So the bottom end, oh yeah, so I've got a picture for you. I love pictures. That you're going to like. I love pictures. 
Uh, That's how you know Tommy's balling. He don't got a case on his phone. No, no case. Phone, no case. That's no, <laughs> everyone says that. That's a big dick energy. So right there. remember we had a. Uh, all right, so I didn't say this on the video. We had a. Uh, 60% leak down in 5, yep. 50, and 6. Yep. Well, we got good news. Uh, your valve is open at, 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 at when it's supposed to be closed. Yeah. So, so luckily it's a, it's a head thing, not a bottom end thing. So is that like just a bent valve? or No. Uh, like well, the, so kind of the worry I had is I heard it through the crankcase. When normally that is, it's rings. So I was like, shit. Mm. But I think that maybe the seal was gone because you can see all the carbon buildup. It had been burning oil for a just, minute. Yeah. So that oil pressure was escaping through the guide out of the seal. Right. That's why I heard that. So that's just the lash thing. And you can't do lash unless okay. you pull cams. It never happens. Okay. Every single RB I've ever taken apart will leak from the exhaust side. Okay. That's just, so so this part of it is pretty deep. This is good. These were money. This was zero cold, yeah, which is which unheard is, of. And so then these two were the bad. You can see the oil burn comparatively. Well, well, good news is we've got Kelford cams, valve springs, retainers. Oh, fuck. we got to stop them. I didn't know you were doing valve stems. Oh, val yeah, valve just, no, it's cool. Yeah, I'll just stop them. Can you text them actually yeah, right now? Oh, um, yeah, because we sent your head out okay. the yesterday. I just wanted to get a jump on a boat. What we'll do is we'll get them those parts. They can do everything and then just wait for those parts. Yeah, because they got a, they got a, they're like 10 millimeter left. Yep. So I guess they have to. Send me whatever them. specs you have so we can right. send it over to right. them so they yeah, can be prepared. Yeah. But that's cool. That's perfect. Yeah. You know. We we have um a 25 head there too, so they'll just start on that and then Sweet. they'll get to yours. Well, do you know when Kelford will have that? They, they think they'll be ready to ship out mid january okay so, so soon two go. weeks yeah, okay so our first one is from our friends over at hall tech we love hall tech oh yeah we might be i i mean i, I guess this is a my sponsor video so i can say it. we might be changing a link not because the hall tech's bad but because it on the more stock cars it uses the stock ecu and like we're doing like restorations and we yeah. can like kind of hide it yeah but i love the hall tech stuff i literally have hall tech on every single one of my cars. yeah they're they're so, so easy you ain't gonna see me either. look at all this stuff okay they gave you flex fuel everything this is nice. Those are some long flex fuel barbs on that thing. <laughs> That's cool. So what would you get an Elite? 2500. 25, so the, the, the big daddy, huh? Hey That's man, nice. We got, I don't know, I just, just doing GTR things. Yeah. Everything I build spirals out of control. Yeah. I told you I want. We're trying not to. I know, I want a 400 horsepower car. These turbos are good for a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <So>. exactly. <laughs> Hopefully we, uh, we're nowhere near that. I yeah, love how so. it's a Hall Tech bag with the Bosch box. Yeah, that's kind of, they're just like, rebox that. <laughs> I mean, you know who runs the game for those. Same. Yeah, exactly. But let's see what else we got. So we got the 2500. What is, oh, that's oh, your wide band. band. Yeah, and the controller, that's good. This is the good stuff right here. What is that? Oh, you got it. no way, you got a dash. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were going to do it to us. So, uh, there's a company in Australia that makes a um, dash mount. We actually got it for Bowman's. It's here, right? Yeah, grab it so you can see that. Hey, um, can I borrow that for a little Yeah. Bit? The IC7. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, so I, I hate screens, but I hear you can program those. Someone in Australia made, like, a Nismo cluster it looks, on that, it looks which I was like, hell yeah. And I'm going to try to do that with Bowman's let's, car. Let's find that. Yeah. So hey, this dude. is the GTR, like, R32 um screen it, like goes right it goes into where the stock cluster goes and then the, that screen goes in this okay so we're gonna have to get one of these yeah. uh, let's, let's go let's do it all right so now we got the uh so you what turbos are these they just so, 2860s yeah 2860s uh 2067s actually oh my god gtx gen 2 2067s <laughs> so well, these at, just for comparison running has one of these on his sr yeah. and he made 420 wheel yeah you know so it's a it's a We'll see. It's a little heavy. It's outside of our rumble. We'll it's got see. The same, essentially the same stage, so it like should spool the same, should make power about the same. So. But the magic is those camps. Yeah. And <laughs> the camps and these will breathe. Yep. So the efficiency range. You'll blow the bottom end in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, those are looking good. We're gonna keep it turned down. But Do you know what wastegates they gave you, or did, I'm not somewhere they say? Yeah, I'm not positive. These are so like Garrett doesn't sell a drop in. Uh, 67 right. ATP turbo does they take the turbo modify it mm -hmm. and then you can drop it in so I mean like I said we're going to keep it simple but when the time comes right you know, when the time we're comes, going to take those apart send them out to jet hot send the uh, the hot side out you know we can get them jazzed all the way up yeah so the turbos are looking those are good. cool what else what do we have here injectors oh okay this is all your fuel stuff yep, injectors fuel pump from Deechworks. 
And then, uh, what is that one? This says Vibratech. But I don't know what that could be. Oh, that's probably the, um, the fluid damper. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely need one of those. So these are all people that have hooked you up, helped you out. Yeah, I, I, you know, everyone thinks I got Tommy money. Yeah. But I just have great partners. No, so. yeah. <laughs> <You'd> <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with a lot of companies for a long time. So. Yeah, so. That's, that helps. Clutch Masters, what they send you, a twin? Yeah, so we got a nice twin. How much is that power good for, 1,200? What do you um, get, a 1,200 horsepower clutch? Uh, I think that's just an 850. So. Oh, okay, yeah, just an 850. Yeah, yeah, just an 850. Oh, hell yeah. We like those. So... Some people open stuff with razor blades. He opens them upside down. It's Christmas. It's just like how you fuck up cars. You fuck up boxes. <laughs> I saw what you did to that E46, by the way. What I did to it? <laughs> Dude, I said after you went, I said, why did yeah. Adam let him take no, that no, no, off no, the no. jump? All right, let me, yeah, let yeah. Me come, come clean. All right? That was a setup. Yeah, what happened? Because Adam goes, don't jump the E46. So I was like, yeah, no problem. Makes sense. Yeah. And then the live stream's going. The jump's there. He wants to hype up the crowd. He goes... Go jump the E46. He knew what was gonna happen. Set me up. What happened? Ripped all the studs off. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> like all, there's a nice video of it. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Every single this just cheered right off. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. I love these on the cars. They just like add that little that little flavor right yeah. to the front. You I know. Got it on my 2J and my K24. Yeah. They're... So what do you got a K24 in? My 240. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's a good piece. Yeah. We can't put it back in the box because that's no longer with us. Yeah, do that. All right, what do we got? Oh, so they sent this uh, hardwire kit. Yeah, for the. There you go, Josh. Saved you some time. Oh shit! Uh, hardwire kit. Put that with the stuff. Universal boy. Some, some injectors. Injected. Big fuel pump, exactly what you asked for. Hell yeah. These are 450, and I think these are, uh, I think thousand. Well, you won't make your 800 on that, but that, that's that'll be your limiting factor. Perfect. I'm not trying to make that's it. your I governor. Don't, I don't want that's, to make 800. <laughs> you just, that. No, you don't want to I on the stock block. I don't, I don't. What year is the car? It's a 89. Yeah, you don't want to make any, you don't want to make anything on an 89. Anything? You're going to be. <laughs> when you say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make 400 on an 89. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the, that's, if you don't know, that's the first year. The Nissan rushed the uh, Skyline to market, and there's some changes. However, there is one weird thing. Um, in '89, there's rumors that the engine or that the blocks are all technically N1 blocks. Yeah. That's the rumor in '89, is that they just made one block. I don't know if it's this one says O5U on it. I don't know if it's. A range. What is 05U? So 05U is just a basic block. And then you'll have 24U, which is an N1 block. Mm. And then you'll have RRR, which is a Z tune block. But this had all the pink. So, the so that supposedly, have. supposedly, or rumored to be that all 89s had N1 blocks, even though they're stamped 05U, or maybe they weren't, the ones that were weren't stamped at all. I don't know the mm. f extent of the rumor, but they made one block in 89. It's this block, and it might have the higher nickel content. What fucks me up, though, is being an 89, it doesn't have... I know. Because Ben's car right there has what's the early, early mm. series one, like, this car, I don't know if you noticed, my front bumper, they, like, cut the, yeah. the side vents out of it, so, mm -hmm. I don't know, there might be a bunch of weird... Did you... Or who knows? Did it? you see the auction sheet for it? Uh, I have it somewhere. Was it ever crashed? It doesn't say that it was crashed, it just, like, it... The first auction it went to, it looked like a faded piece of shit with dents all over yeah and then, then it came back it, clean someone bought it and then the next auction uh photos of it it's decently it's clean. better yeah this is 2000 so. built after that exactly on the oh okay November. so there's a late 89 yeah. so ben's might have had an a, an n1 block but this mm -hmm. probably has a 90 block or whatever just let so me, just let me have that one thing this is an n1 block n1 block you got it yeah, yeah, just, whatever you want <laughs> whatever and nismo built it because josh found pink marker on it Boom. there you go done Resell it. He knows what he's got. So what'd you get? Oh, dang. Wow. So you got a, a twin disc. This is good for 850 wheel, right? Yeah, something Just like in that. case. Yeah, so this is a Clutch Masters twin disc. And, you know, they're actually excited for you to check it out just because, like... They know. Uh, well, you know, they, they, they see that you're a GTR lord. But um, this is one of their... Uh, 
they call it like the DLX discs. Mm -hmm. So there, there's, there, it's a twin disc. It can handle aggressive power, but it's also street. So, okay. So and I remember you were telling me you like a certain clutch just because of the way that. Yeah, I, I like the uh, OS Geiken. Uh, they just feel feel light, but it'll be cool. I like to experience clutches because you yeah. never know until you buy one, and exactly. I'm not willing to take that risk. Exactly, exactly. So I'll I, you. I'm excited for you to try it. It's cool. It comes with that, all this stuff, yep, too. Yep, Sometimes we get screwed when they don't. That's a gnarly looking piece. Yeah. <laughs> she, she does the thing. Oh. Banner game strong. There it is. Yeah. Feel heavy? Oh, not really. No, not bad at all. Yeah. Is that shipping? Yeah, it's HKS coil. That's what I like to hear. Big beautiful flywheel, big beautiful clutch. Yeah, we got it. So that's everything. Hurts. Uh, we're gonna go over some stuff with this car. We're not gonna film because it's all secretive. But I'm gonna end the video there. I just want to get his react. What, what is your reaction? Now, you, you knew it. I mean, and you kind of got softened. I wish I could have surprised you with all the negatives. Yeah, no, you, you warmed me up. <laughs> but yeah, I will say it's. I like how you actually, because he we I showed up. He said, "Hold on, let me grab the camera." This is all right. This is all right, right off. off. Yeah, you know, but um, it is what it is. It is. All right. You're gonna be able to take this in the desert, do 100 miles an hour in the sand, go to the salt flats, go wherever you want. Yeah, I'm not gonna do like that. Like I said, <laughs> I, I I expected a lot of it. You could kind of see it. Right. Um, the VX report kind of showed it, right. um, so I wasn't like, "Oh no, I got screwed." I didn't yeah, just, this wasn't this wasn't a get, huge surprise to him. I'll yeah. tell you that because when I I I, I kind of side railed you in Florida, I was like, "Hey, I got something to show you." And you're like, like, "Also, the price I paid for the car, right? Like, I have no place to be right. mad about it." They they we we had a mutual agreement. We know what I was getting. So, so there you have it. He's not upset, so you shouldn't be. Anyway, we got stuff to talk about and go over. Uh, we got some surprises and. Uh, that's it. I'm going to end the video there. Just had to see Hertz face. Everyone wants to see Hertz face. No. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time. No? Nobody Come on. Nobody <laughs>